worst artillery positions. There must be something. There must be a reason for this fort to exist. Bullet impacts. The other half of this end up missing. <laughs> Today we're going back to the experimental forts surrounding Motlin Fort. These were all constructed in the late 1880s, right up to and into World War I. Refitting only stopped when Ludendorff were at the gates of Motlin. Some took battle damage, others were blown up after the German army evicted the Russians and took over 90,000 prisoners. While some are completely intact today, what makes them so very interesting is that they are all experimental and completely different from each other. From the 19th century technology to the latest state of the art of World War I. So where are we going today? We are going to... Modlin, zewnętrzny pierścień fortów. Fort numer 11, Fort 11B, Strubiny. It was built between 1912 and 1915, so it was one of the latest models. As part of the outer ring of the Motlin Fortress, and it survived with no real war damage. It is the fort the furthest away from Motlin itself, so it was planned to build intermediate forts in the interfields, and also planned a belt of earth fortifications and trenches between them. The fort has moats with a tributary draw and head-on caponier, and an antiscarp, and centrally conducted with the paddling from the caponier. Under the fort, a wide walkway from the fort was led into the drawing of the trapezoid for the fort's crew. And I'm telling you this because it is insanely overgrown and really hard to show you. And we're going to see it from the inside. There was also dome wells for armored observation domes, but these were not mounted in time. Also, here are some very interesting tunnels for countermining. This is about all of the information we have available about the fort. So we're just going to have to go through it and take a look for ourselves. It actually has some interesting details to this. Besides the fact that it's actually intact. Which is why I demanded kicking and screaming that we went here. So what are we looking at? Cement? Rebar? Ornamental detail? And tunnels. This is the first building, close defensive. Points, here. That's a very nice detail. This, I'm almost wonder if that is part of a reinforcement. That we'll find out when we get up there. Now that it's intact, we can actually see what we're looking at. As we now walk into this fort, the first thing I see is a ground well of tunnels. There are actual tunnels down here. I don't know if this was a well. It cannot possibly have been a manhole or... So... I don't see any doors or hinges here, which I would have expected there to be, given this is a protected entrance. Okay, not what I expected to see, but I'm intrigued. This is where the steel door is. So, protected entrance, and then we get into the fort proper, Oh, yes we do. That's interesting. So, does this one under... This is the bathroom. Can you see for the footmarks? And, to the tradition of it being a bathroom, no, this is for light. I thought it was a firing port, but we are somewhat underground. We're down by a couple of meters. So there'll be light in the bathroom. You know what? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> and these are all little indents for lighting. 
And if I'm not much mistaken, this is where a dome would have been. I would almost imagine the dome here never got installed and looks just like a smaller dome has been bricked up. I don't see any shrapnel, any damage here. So we may actually have one that's intact. This really does feel a little bit like a and, and, and mix between new and old in some interesting way. It also seems like it's a wet So what's going on here? What happened here? Something tore up part of the roof on the inside. And... This is an interesting round way. We're not complaining, we can actually walk around the wet part. Why? Again, something did happen here. And this is some real serious steel beams over here. In a small room that has nothing else, but my stomach would shut up. These are real serious steel beams. And I'm imagining, for that reason, this would be a small magazine. See how some of them have been cut out? It only covers this room. So, was here some sort of access to a weapon system? Why would there be just a hallway behind the main hallway? And why is there a steel beam sticking out of the roof? Huh. And there's attachments for lighting on the wall. all throughout and here's again there's pieces of the I wonder if this is natural it could be natural decay because of moisture kind of hard to tell honestly what a very strange layout so I'm expecting up there would be a defensive fire position in this direction to protect this hallway for people going in there which is so that will be that entrance and you would go this way and somebody I am betting would be up here on a plate, defending the approach to this. Sometimes you would think I knew what I was talking about. Steel door. Oh, it suddenly got nice and warm up here. We're back to the, another entrance. So, okay. I will just uh, take everything back I just said. This is a firing position from the other side facing out here. I would have expected them to have something to stand on. Basically, 
another protected entrance. Well, I am not ready to go outside yet. And there's two of them. Hello. Hello. really strange the way the roof here is just lifted off as if everything it was sitting on has eroded. It must be natural decay. It, it can't be. There's nothing that's destroyed in here. There's no shrapnel. There's nothing. It must be some of the materials, just water erosion, what have you. This keeps going down. Wow. So, there used to be a plumbing pipe. Just wanted to tell you, in case you were wondering. And there's a little room through to the sides. Where this thing is going, I have no idea. But we are just going down. I am stupidly intrigued. I'm stupidly intrigued as to what is above where we are. I didn't sort of see what I was talking about. It looks like, well, you know what I think? Let's see if you guys know me well enough, but I think there were cross beams here. There were cross beams here and there were wood and they have just eroded away. And that is where there's now a space here. That's why. All right, having that cleared out of the way, Russian wood will not hold a hundred years. We have now learned that. Don't know what this is. I am loving this place. I am loving these forts. This cannot just be a little shelter and it's not because I think there's an up right over there electrical mounts in the walls it's not cold down here mm. original uh, World War One pot no <laughs> <laughs> but I knew it would be great I, I, I felt this <laughs> that's a staircase that's not broken which is a good start. Holy crap. I mean, holy crap, holy crap. Hmm. Holy donkey crap. Okay, stone, wood eroded. I get it, I get it. Roof coming down, blah, blah, blah. Moving on. <laughs> So, uh, sealed fighting position for a dome? I don't know. I do not know. I need to get the map of this fort because I don't know what I'm looking at except this is awesome. My, my dilemma in life is that I come to these places and I want to go in every direction at the same time. I'm turning slightly schizophrenic. Okay, and here's another. Covered by steel plates. Okay.
hole in the ground. Okay, wanting to go everywhere. Hole in the ground, I'm cracking. This may be wet. And it may be identical to what we just saw. It is a dead end. Well, that doesn't explain the whole age of a lot, does it? here at one point that is possible there must have been an exit here there must have been some reason for this to exist none of this is really big enough to store munitions in so isn't it awesome been in five minutes we barely turned around I almost sort of like start wondering where are we and where did we come from that staircase I'm guessing leads up so who wants to go there I want to go here And there's another staircase, so if this was a Franco-Prussian fort, then this side would be identical to the one we have just seen. Look at this. So when did you see a World War I fort built with stone? Nice, beautiful red stones, different types, interlaced with cement and wood beam that's eroding holding it all from falling on our heads. But, brilliant. Door A, door B. Yeah, well, this groove looks different. But it's significantly different. What is this? And why do I smell dead fish? This is not dead fish, this is a dead animal. That's where the flies are coming from. There's a dead bird in there. Or some other animal that died. Or we're standing on one. I can smell it, this is a dead thing. That's fine. That's what nature does. Things die. But, no, oh, end again. I mean, a little shelter. There must have been some. This is just. Yeah, you go away. I mean, look at this. I see a little rebar in there under the roof. Don't know if this happened. In battle, I love the stonework. And wood though, I mean, come on, you built the other stuff in steel and rebar, and this thing is held together by wood. <laughs> it's a little troubling. But of course, and here's a railway sleeper holding the staircase up. I am imagining we will see exactly the same thing. Okay, we're not seeing anything. Okay, the only thing I can think of is this would be personnel shelters for the guys upstairs. And I did make the 
Bowles, who claimed this was an artillery fort, basing it on very little. Uh, see, this was held together by railway sleepers. And how did the other half of this end up missing? Some scrapper took it. That's usually how that happens. But anyway, um, this is up to a fighting position. I think we should take the other staircase just because. But look at all this rock we're walking on. It's stones. Stones, wood, and then they pour cement on top of the wood. I mean, maybe it's just construction wood. All these are indents from, from the wood that has eroded away. So it may just be held in place just fine. And then there was a layer of stone before the cement. And there's a bloody rail sleeper in there as well. And the wood is on its last legs. All right, watch your step. There's a hole in front of us, right? Okay, this staircase, however, looks like phenomenally good shape. Same thing again, now that I finally figured out why the roof or the ceiling looks like it's been raised, it's because of the wood and the stone that has eroded. Oh, there's... Well, damn, there better be a gun position. It's covered up, but yeah, this is a firing position. What's interesting about it is the gun seemed to have been mounted in the pit and there's no ventilation for it or lighting or other. Uh, fascinating construction. And here's another. And probably for munitions. I wonder what the Russians had here. Probably had Maxim. Probably have or had Maxim guns. And then here's the out. Have to go down and take the other staircase just to see if the other side looks the same. Heavy door, and that's for down, and this is defended entrance by these two guns. Although it's heavily defended entrance, but it has to be a defended entrance because it can't have been a fighting front because the door is facing the same way as the guns. So, oh, at least they put a little steel over the stairs. Nice of them. Well, let's see what the other staircase says. Don't fall in the hole. Oh. This is really cool. Okay. Oh, the hole that's been here for this long. <sighs> Same thing. But this is pointing towards the other one. This was a horseshoe, wasn't it? This is pointing the same direction. They can't point towards each other. That would be ridiculous. But I think they are, honestly. I am almost certain that that gun is pointing towards the other gun. That's pointing this direction. That's really weird. Okay. It might be a car hood.
So here we have on the outside of this there were fighting going on. This has been shot at quite well and the fighting position here is the same. That's been shot at. See there's actually bullet deflections inside the funnel there. But it's big, front, cement over stone. Oh, and look at this. This is the weird thing. Sorry. This is the wall with the machine guns facing. And this is the entrance. Okay, it looks like there was a steel door, possibly. It's hard to tell, but it went away for a while at some point because this is full of bullet impacts. It's just really strange to have a fighting facade with an entrance in the same direction. That's ridiculous. Bullet impacts that went through the observation embrasure. That should give you an idea why you're in a bad place. All right, back down where we came. All right, back from the end of the tunnel, continuing down this way. And here is another dome well that has been posthumously bricked up. So these two observation domes, I don't know if they were MG domes, they don't look very big. Here's one entrance. This is one we came in originally. This is the one from the little fighting compartment we saw. So, what's down here? Here's another hallway. <laughs> Just a little fort, she said. A uh, quick 15 minute walk, nothing special, she said. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, because I haven't been here before, but uh, somehow I thought that it would be right. Okay, here we have the same situation. Here we have the same situation as we did on the other side. We have the main hallway running that way, and then we have this little side road here which has a shelter here that used to have steel beams that somebody removed and just a, I don't know if this would this be munition stores in itself <laughs> this is I don't understand what this is or supposed to be. Lots of electrical on the wall. Look at these. I guess still the ceramic is still here. Ceramic still here on these. We rubbed them. Before this was in a time before the cables were plastic coated, so you would hang them straight on ceramic. Could be a bird. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's a bird. Yeah. Totally bird. Hey, buddy. <laughs> it's not going to do anything to your hair. Okay, so this is the entrance. Hey, buddy. And something did happen here. I'm going to follow the bat for a minute. It's another dome. So we have three steel domes that are not here. With oh, I thought the bed went in there. And a seriously broken floor. With a serious space under the floor. I wonder if here was any kind of machinery or water tank. I'm there are mounts for, it could have been a generator station, electrical, since here is not a funnel. <laughs> Nothing here is where I think it is. So I have lots of electrical. This must have been some sort of an engine room motor. I don't know if they would have had an electrical generator. But this floor is also reinforced by railroad sleepers here. Don't know if you plan on putting machinery on something. Why do you do it with the hollow floor? Just asking for a friend. So. There's a staircase down to a, there's a tunnel here. There was a tunnel down here that led down here. See how the electrical cabling continues and this was filled up with stone. Could have been collapsed and then blocked off. No idea, can't say, but this continued at one point. So, this is a different entrance than the one we came in from. So now we have four entrances to the fort. So now I wonder what's out here. Steel hatch. Staircase. So we have at least two casemates like this, but I now ask myself, what's the offensive power of this fort? Or where's the artillery positions? There must be something. There must be a reason for this fort to exist, other than have a couple observation domes with machine guns. So what did we cross? This is the side of this casemate. Hmm. Roads lead back to the back. Okay. So it is symmetrical. Everything that's on one side is on the other side. That's really cute. But where are the guns? Where's the stuff that's supposed to. Where's the fight in this thing? Interesting, the electrical just dips down here under where the light was. It'll lead me to think that the lighting in here was the regular oil lamps because the electrical just continues next to it. Like here, just dips under, doesn't actually connect. 
Mm -hmm. So these two firing positions, watching the entrance, the dudes are supposed to have standing, they would need something to stand on. I remember some of the Belgium forts, they had a large wooden palisade, a wooden table the guys would stand on for the entrance defense. And obviously here, there would have been something like that. Now, one thing I can't help but to notice is an old bicycle wheel that has nothing to do with the damn fort. Moving on. Lots of wood in this. All right. I'm trying to find out the history of this thing. Well, that actually looks like it belongs here because it looks like the kind of thing we've seen before that would hold things. So here is the original entrance we came through. And now we're going to go to the other side. And I have high hopes of there being a explanation in three different languages of what the age was going on here, including where the offensive firepower was. And I was horribly wrong because this is it. Hmm. Again, a lot of electrical. This could easily be ventilation. Proves. Looks like it was. They're a bit suited too. Could have an engine sitting down here. I can say there's a little bit of a ditch, a little bit of a dirt wall into the fort area. Above on the overgrown plateau there was also an infantry fighting position, but I'll show you those clearer in less overgrown forts. There's something deeply intriguing about the fighting forts in the east. There was a series of these Russian built forts defending towards the west against the Germans course during World War I they all came into use but what are they what were they how do they look how do they function what weaponry did they have so many questions I'm gonna try to answer this is the top of the fort so if you ask me to pinpoint artillery positions or other fighting you bring me a lawnmower from hell and we'll talk. Let's take a look at the next one. See if there's more clues. And before you panic and think this is it for today, it's not. In the next episode, that will start immediately after this one, we are going to France, where I want to show you a French fort that is comparable to this one. It was built in roughly the same time frame, and I thought it would be interesting to see them back to back for comparison. So let go. C'est va être incroyable. Oh, look at the platform, which is almost... Uh... Behind me is Van der Von Braun's first test stand. Down the road is Diebnus nuclear reactor. Over there is the Maginot Line and all its amazing forts. I'm visiting them all and I'm bringing them to you. So I really appreciate you like, follow and share what I'm doing, trying to document all these important historical locations. And if you feel like you want to watch more pictures or documents that are used for these, go to lostbattlefields.com. And if you feel like helping me out with my travels, because gasoline and travel and air for you is expensive, my PayPal is there, protectionserviceint.com. You are more than welcome, but you don't have to. I appreciate all your support and all your help, and I love seeing these locations, and I love bringing them to you.